there's a lot that needs to be done. I mean, for example, uh, for those of you who don't spend all your time reading poverty books, uh, uh, what Professor Collier talks about are uh, the traps that the countries that constitute the bottom billion population fall, and fall into. Uh, they are, they're things like, I think there are four of them, the conflict trap, uh, countries that are, that are uh, landlocked, they don't have access to, uh, uh, to ports and to, the, and to water uh, and have bad, uh, bad neighbors. Countries, they cause, there's something he calls a natural resource trap. He uses Nigeria as an example. Nigeria has a lot of oil, had, had, they're about out now I think, had a lot of oil, but they became so dependent on the oil they didn't develop uh, uh, the rest of their economy. Uh, he talks, I don't think this is one of the traps, but he has another book about Exodus, which is what called Exodus, I think, which is about the brain drain. You know, what happens is in a lot of these countries is the most talented and smartest people leave. You know, they uh, they don't stay, and the net result is the less talented, less educated, less intelligent people end up in charge and running the country. So, I think there are a variety of things that need to be done. You know, like dealing with dealing with overpopulation. Uh, we've done some extraordinary, this is going to sound partisan, I don't mean it to, but we've done some extraordinarily stupid things about uh, contraception and the availability of contraception to women who live in Africa. Uh, I mean, <coughs> contraception should be available and it should be free in poor countries. It's just that simple. And America needs to be leading the way on that. And we shouldn't be having an ideological fight about it, but that's unfortunately what's been happening. Uh, aid matters. The aid has to be accompanied with reform requirements because a lot of these governments, the aid never gets to where it's supposed to go. I read a study in, in uh, Collier's book uh, where they actually looked at, I've forgotten which country it was, it was some sub-Saharan African country, uh, where they actually looked at, all right, this money, was, this money was earmarked for health clinics. How much, and they had the amount, how much of that money actually got into the health clinic? And it was literally 1%. 99% never got to the health clinic. Well, that's a worth, worthless waste of money and resources and time. So you have to have governments, governance and governance reform uh, that accompanies the, the aid that's being provided. Uh, so th there are economic development tools that ne need to be used. There are a whole range of things. But honest to goodness, the starting place is to get but what we've got now is we have the United Nations that pays attention to it. We have some wonderful foundations, the Gates Foundation, uh, President Clinton's foundation, that are doing great work in this area. But the general population doesn't think about it. They just don't. There's no steady drumbeat. They will occasionally see a picture of a starving African child and feel guilty. And, but they don't do anything. And nobody's really asking them to do anything. And I think that's where all of us come in, you know? Those of us who can get heard through whatever vehicle, I think that's, that's uh, what we need to be doing. But there are a whole range of things, you know, from population to, uh, I mean, access to water, clean drinking water. I was in Uganda a, a few years ago, and lit, we, were in, we were in places where literally everyone in the, in the uh, community spent their day walking to the water supply getting water and coming back. That was their daily activity. Uh, I mean, we have, that, has, that just has to be changed. Production, you know, modernizing uh, agricultural techniques so that they can produce the food that they actually need. Uh, so there's, there's a list of things that need to be done. So yeah, but, and we, are, and we the, the rich countries, the United States, Britain, France, uh, Japan, the rich countries have got to do it. They don't have the capacity to do it. They can't, they need to ultimately do it. They need to ultimately, the structure needs to be such that what we're doing is seeding their own development and ability to do it. But they're gonna, they're gonna have to do it ultimately, but they can't start, they just don't have the ability.